Well, hello again. Finally had a chance to get out on some rats. A break in the weather. Although saying that, it was only for four or five hours. So, starting off with a snip of a rat. It's only about 12 metres, this one. It was a pretty damn cold evening. Until it started raining. One of them moments where you wonder which one do you shoot and then I clock the big fat one at the back there. Just about to crawl along the ledge. Well, that looks like a nice pregnant one. One eye. So I took that one out. Didn't get a chance to get the other ones because they buggered off. Although they did come back a bit later. This one is right up in the rafters. If you listen close, you can hear that pellet whack. Just flapped around him behind the beam. This was another one of them ones where you think, which one do I go for? So I actually tried going for two at once there, but just got the timing slightly wrong. So I missed the first one and hit the one in behind straight through the head. I'll do a slow-mo on that one and you can see. Another one thought he was safe, just sticking his head up here. I'm never safe from the Wolverine. So this is that slow-mo, you can see the pellet just go over its head and hit the other one. Second quicker, I probably would have had both of them in one go. Another one, just a little bit of a peekaboo. And they just drop down in behind the cavity there. Wind picked up quite a bit here and it was freezing, absolutely cold. I could barely feel my hands in this little spot. Use about 31 metres that one. About 34, 35 yards. This was a very tricky little spot to shoot as you'll see a little bit later on through the video. As you can see there's rats here but there's cows in the background. I actually clocked this one on the thermal before it stuck its head out because I could see the glow coming from the hole. Initially I thought it was quite a bad shot. As he upped around a fair bit, but on the slow-mo it wasn't. is in a big corn shed. I don't think this one's going to be winning anything from the Olympics. You can't get off the spot. So react quick flip up and disappear behind the cavity. There were several at the back of there by the end of the evening. I should have took the one on the left here first. Probably would have blocked the hole and stopped the other one running through. another one of them ones which I thought was a poor shot. 
It was a bit windy, but it was only about 20 yards away, 20, 20 meters, 23 yards, something like that. So I did a slow mo on it again, and right between the eyes. I had to shoot that one pretty quick because it just kept popping up and popping back down. So I had to pop it off quick. And there he is looking up to Ratty Evan. That trick a little spot again. I think if you had quite a poor quality night vision, you, some people probably would have actually taken the shots on some of them. That one was totally out for the cold. This one didn't even realise it was dead. There you go. This was a very active little corner. It's obviously where there was coming in and out. As you will see in a minute, you end up with uh, quite a few rats there. So this one trying to bully the one I've just shot. See him trying to grab him or whatever. So I took him out as well. Didn't know what this one was doing. Because it wasn't watching me. So I was just about to uh, range find it. About to pull the trigger. And then Puss in Boots comes along. Back to that little corner again. As you can see, several rats trying to pile up there. This is the furthest one of the evening. It was actually quite still by by this stage, as you can see, because there's, there's no foliage moving there. This is about 37, nearly 38 metres, 42 yards, something like that, whatever it is. Half milled at old over on time six. Right on the swede. Bit of a slow motion on this one. As you can see, half milled it all over. Right for its nut. Back to that little corner again. And I realise I didn't have a I didn't actually load my gun. I'd been and had a coffee break, came back, and this was the first one I came across. So the time I'd loaded, he was um, scooting off. So he just disappeared in behind there, popped out the other side. So again, popped him off. This one's actually quite quite high up, fairly elevated. Shoot tad underneath it, not a lot, but just enough. Obviously did the job. Again, just disappearing behind the cavity. Back to that tricky little spot. Always wary of the cows there. Rush this shot a little bit. Thought I'd actually missed him. That did a slow mo and actually got him through the neck. Probably broke its neck. Probably 
right through its spine. He was dead just in behind. But I don't like things running too far. I'm not sure if that was actually two rats in one go there. I don't think it was. Bit of a tumble down corner there. And one still on the shelf. Dilly no mates. Back to that tricky little spot, as I was saying earlier. If you had quite a poor quality night vision, you probably wouldn't realise there was cows in the background there. This one didn't want to play ball. And I couldn't shoot the other one because obviously the cows are there. But I did clock this one. This one was going nowhere. I have to change the magazine here, ran out of pellets. Again, sneak little buggers. Never worth the risk taking the shot on the other ones. I knew there was no cows in the background there because I'd already clocked it with the thermal. Bit of a poor shot this one. Just moved as I pulled the trigger. Still got him now. mate coming back to see what happened. Should have kept going the other way, little boy. Sneak a little one here under the um, silage bale. Trimmed a bit of weed for the farmer as well. Again, thought this was a poor shot. So, looking at the slow mo on this one, just in behind the eye. This one looks like it's actually under something, but it's actually quite away in the background. Looks like it's under the barrel, but it's not. About another four foot further back. Straight down the lug hole on this one. Is that still flapping around in the background? Out of a bale, that one. This is what you call a splash and dash. Unfortunately for him, he didn't dash very far. I do love slurry. 
Did this one fight go for a swim and disappeared? This is the last one of the evening. Pretty good tally really for the conditions. Although it's moonlit night, I do love the moonlit nights for shooting rats. Seems to bring them out more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully the weather picks up a bit and get out in the next few days.